On by invitation this Thursday morning, we have the pleasure of talking to Ms. Lim Kit Wan, who is the NLP Master Trainer and also Country Director of Billy Quack International. Yes. Good, to have you Good with morning, kids. Good morning and Thank Happy you. New Year. Oh, yes. Kong Si Fa Chai. Kong Si Fa Chai, that's right. It's tradition normally for any guest that comes on our show to give us big ang pa when she leaves. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, I must bear that in mind the next time I'm here. Aya. <laughs> All right, so today we wanted to talk about something that I think a lot of people have problems with, Kit. Motivation. We want to mm-hmm. talk about motivation. Where do we start? How do we motivate uh, someone or how do we motivate ourselves? Motivating ourselves. Well, okay. When we first start about talking about ourselves, we need to know what actually interests us, what drives us. I think most of us find that if there's something that we're interested in, right. we will find the motivation right. to do it. Let's say we're interested in food. Mm. We, could, Richard, we yes. will drive <laughs> something like actually you're not familiar with. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we will find the motivation to drive for two hours to just to get eat that, plate of, that you know, special or dish or what, yeah. that you know we were told about, right. or even to go and learn how to cook it. Right, right. It's because we have the passion, we have the interest. The problem is when we're trying to be motivated to do something that maybe we're not interested in because somebody else wants. And this is very common where you know parents want to motivate their children right. to do something mm-hmm. that the child is not interested in, like right. force them to learn the piano yep so you need to first find out how you can get the child interested right in playing the piano give right. them a purpose rather than just say you must learn right. this is good for you right now imagine you're a child of six right. seven years mm-hmm. old your parents says it's good for you everything the parents says will be good for you yeah mm-hmm. you know, why why is it good for me right you know what, what okay. am i learning this for yeah but what about if you have the passion to begin with and then like Three weeks later, you, you lose that passion you, because exactly. you, you sort of like find it difficult. You're like, oh, yeah, this is so do. hard. La. Yeah. Well, chances are you might find it difficult. You find that the thing that you're trying to do is something that you cannot master. Yes. You know, a lot of us, we, we yeah. think that, you know, if I'm going to learn tennis, if I can't easy. play like Andre Agassi tomorrow, right, yeah, I I'm give, up. give up. Yeah, you're right. Exactly. Yeah. You know, <laughs> so we have to think, let, let's be realistic here. La. How long did those people take to become mm-hmm. very good at it. Right, yeah. Years and years. Years and years of practice, yeah. a lot of training and getting coaches to teach them. So, are we re- realistic to say that if we don't learn it in two weeks, we're no good? Yeah, but we're so we're, we're a society that wants like instant, you know, gratification. Like, we want to pick up like French and a language. We want to learn it like by two weeks time and if we don't, we, we quit, right? That's, that's right, that's yeah, we, we do. do. So, what we have to do is find the right teacher a lot mm-hmm. of times. Right. We have to maybe find um, someone that we can model. Okay. Like if I want to play um, the piano, I would find somebody I think is good at playing piano. And a source of inspiration so a that you inspiration. still be motivated. A mentor. Yeah. Someone who can a teach mentor, us. Yeah. Ah, okay. That would help. Some human interaction would be good so it's not just all internal. Like, like I'm going to motivate myself. Oh, no, it's not happening. Well, you can. You can Google a lot of things. But uh, how long <laughs> is that? <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. All right. On my invitation, we'll explore further this Thursday morning when it comes to motivating people. We're talking to Miss Lim Kit Wan, NLP Master Trainer and also Country Director of Billy Quack International. If you do have any questions you'd like to address to uh, Miss Lim Kit Wan here, feel free to call us. 0395433333 or you can put it on Facebook. It's fb.lightfm.com.my on the light breakfast. On by invitation this Thursday morning, we're talking to Kit, who is an NLP Master Trainer and Country Director of Billy Quick International. You don't mind me if I just address you by your no, no. first name, Kit. Kit. <laughs> it's much easier. Yeah. yeah. Easy, yeah. <laughs> what, was, what was that movie with Kit? the car uh, uh, Night Rider uh, thank you yeah, very much thank you. <laughs> yeah. that's the name we're not going to forget anytime soon alright Kit Serge we spoke about motivating you know how, where do we start and things like that let's talk about self motivation because I know a lot of people myself included I really have a problem motivating myself like to <laughs> exercise or to, to do things I, I procrastinate yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot because I sort of find it very difficult to motivate yourself for most of us to be motivated, we need to find out what is it that we really want to do. See, some people are motivated by pain. Then there are people who are motivated by pleasure. <laughs> yeah, I like when how you, you look at When you say motivated Richard, by pain, she looks at me. I'm thinking of changing the light bulb. What is going to motivate me to change that light bulb until the wife starts to give me pain? Then there's pain, right? Yes. Yeah. So, you see, when we are motivated by pain, a lot of people are. Let's say someone who came from a background where they didn't have money. Right. They will be motivated by pain in the sense that they want to move away from not having money. Right. So they're very motivated, work very hard to earn a lot of money. Oh, right. Okay, okay. The only problem arises is when they get to a point when they have enough money, Right. they no longer have that pain motivation to right. keep pushing them. 
See, for us, I mean, in NLP, we know how to change our motivation. So in moving away from pain, we can change it to moving towards pleasure, which is great because at that point, we want to earn more to have even more pleasure. So, so yeah, I was going to say, do you think it's more about the way you think rather than like, so say, for example, you're in a job and you hate that job. But if you had, if you change the way you think, you might actually enjoy that job. Or see it's a lot to do with your mindset. Right. I mean, you were talking about wanting to exercise. Yeah. See, I mean, I know myself. I don't like exercise. What I say is I'm allergic to it. <laughs> <laughs> I should try that one exercise. Right? That's a good one. <laughs> because in my, in my situation, I don't right. have pain. But I think if I were to see a doctor and he says, look, you have to exercise, otherwise you're going to have a heart attack. Right. I then think that would be comes. pain yeah. to really motivate me. Most of us need pain to get us off our butts. Right. We just don't want to move right. unless there is pain. Right. And then normally it's a bit too late by then. It's sort it of could be too late. Exactly. Right. So right. we need to find other ways of motivating ourselves. Right. Okay. What we do um, is we actually look at what drives us. What's our inner driving forces? Our values are important to us. I always find that, you know, like when we talk about topics about motivation, oh. discussions and things like that, when people ask, you know, like what makes you happy, you really have to search inside to find out what what does and it's the same with what drives us I've never really sat down and thought oh I, I don't really know actually so that would be the first step yeah in motivating ourselves to find out what triggers us what makes us go Happy. yes yeah. it would be whether you talk about self-motivation or as a, as a boss if I'm trying to motivate my staff yeah. I need to know what drives them are okay. they really motivated by money or right. is there more to it than that some of them money may be important but they want family time they right. want to have a balanced work life. True, true. Not yeah, everybody some people, just wants. Yeah. Some people will, you know, give their, their life to you for money. Right. But right. some people really want a work life balance. And if they don't have that, they won't stay very long, no matter how good a performer they are. Yeah, Sometimes okay. you get people who don't earn very much, but they are so passionate about what they Absolutely. do. And you're wondering to yourself, oh, why does he want to do what? That it's make interesting that because money? motivation yeah. is sort of like a case by case thing. You know, yeah. different people That's get right. motivated different ways. So you're really going to have to sit down and find out what exactly drives you, and then carry on forward with the motivation I suppose yeah. we'll get to work questions in just a bit Richard All right. Style. Okay, on by invitation once again talking to Kit this morning NLP Master Trainer and Country Director of Billy Quick International if you have any questions with regards to motivation give us a call 0395433333 or you can put your question up on Facebook it's fb.lightfm.com.my on the light break on by invitation we're talking to Kit this morning NLP Master Trainer and also Country Director of Billy Quick International and we we have a question from uh, Mariam. I am a kindergarten teacher teaching a six-year-old. Mm -hmm. How do I motivate a six-year-old who are not native English speakers to learn and have the interest in learning? Okay, very specific. And Mariam is an English teacher. So, Kit, what's your advice? So, if she's trying to teach um, six-year-olds mm -hmm. English, yeah. right? Right. Now, learning happens under two circumstances when we're going through very traumatic experiences or when we're having fun. Right. Now, as a six-year-old, I don't suggest you put them through a traumatic no, experience. The <laughs> thing is to make it fun. Make it as much fun as possible. Put it into games. Make it where English is required to get to do well in a game. Right. So you play a lot of games. Right. You can show them videos where it's all in English and then ask them to understand it and talk about it. Right. See, so this is where it becomes fun. Entertainment. You can't run away from the media. You can't run away from using videos and yeah. TV programs and things like that. That's what children enjoy. If that's what they enjoy, get them to talk about it. Even if they like computer games, get them to talk about it in English. Ah. Basically, find, it's just find the thing play, that yeah. is making them interested in something. Mm -hmm. right. What are they interested in? If they're interested in, in computer games, let them talk about it. Okay. Rather than just them don't play the games. Right. We won't work. So it's mm -hmm. almost like it's a little stepping stone. Talk to us about what you're passionate about and then sort of apply that to the class. And Absolutely. Like Find right. what they like and then get them to talk about it in English. So it forces them. It really makes them want to express themselves. Why do you like that, that language, you know, that game and, and mm -hmm. tell us in English. Right. And then they're like, they have to start looking for words. Right. And then obviously give them guidance. Don't, don't just leave them there, you know, hanging. Right. You, know, you, you know, they do things like show and tell nowadays in school. So yeah. fine. It's not just about things, but talk about things that they like. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Is that the same for adults as well? By the way, I mean the the fact that we we have we forgotten to learn through fun now. I think a lot of <laughs> yeah, us yeah, have. Yeah. Have we? A lot of us have <laughs> yeah. forgotten. We think that it's wrong to have fun. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, fun should be during fun times and not during work times. If you're learning while you're having fun, 
the motivation you learn is greater. Easier. You learn right. it easier, you enjoy it more. Faster. And you learn it a lot faster. Okay. Right. How about the parents that, um, you know, send all their kids to, you, you spoke about it earlier, Kit, you know, the parents that actually send their kids over, do, do a lot of work, they might not be passionate in this. No, learn piano. Piano is good. You'll enjoy it in the future, that sort of yeah. thing. Is that the right way to get kids to learn? They need to know what purpose you have for them to learn piano. Okay. You know, I, I remember okay. as a child, uh, my parents wanted me desperately to learn piano. And all I thought about piano was force me to sit at piano play. Right. All my cousins and everybody else right. was playing outside having fun. And I was sitting there having to practice my <laughs> scales. Right. And I hated it. Okay. I, had to, I had to get them to okay. agree to let me give up because I didn't understand it. Now I regret now, older, I regret, I wish I had learned how to play the piano properly. Right, right. Because yeah. I see other people play and I say, it's wonderful to be able to play music. Right. But if I understood the purpose behind it, rather than just you have to sit here and practice. Right. While everyone else seems to be having fun outside. You could be a concert pianist by I now. I could have been a concert pianist instead <laughs> of a master trainer. So this is based on the motivation that you should be getting when you were a kid play, learning to play the piano. Or I anything, that. any activity that you okay. want your child to but, do. But more of an explanation as well, like what you're, what you're talking about is parents and children, I suppose, you know, because my dad, my mom wanted me to learn piano, same as you, kid. I went through, why am I learning this for? I don't like it, you know, that sort of thing. Then when I got older, I thought, I wish I learned the piano. The reason you know? I'm also asking is because, okay, come back to my daughter again, Marissa. You know, you know kids, you ask them, what do you want to be next time when you grow up, when you, you know, uh, grown up? And she says, I want to be a nurse. So I'm thinking, don't be a nurse. Be a doctor. Why be a nurse? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you cutting yourself short? Here? Come on. So what about you know, that kind of motivation? Like, now How do you motivate that then? That goes back to actually understanding her values. What are the reasons she wants to be a nurse? Right. I think because she's watched, you know, these uh, cartoons on TV that a nurse is very caring. Well, she is, you know, a very caring person, yeah. especially with other kids as well and things like that. So I think that has... The, the drive in her to care for other people. And what's your purpose for wanting her to be a hey, doctor? It's all about the money. money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the money is driving you, you but it may not be driving you know? her. <laughs> right, okay. okay. Yeah, you see but the error you, of your ways. Can you uh, so-called motivate, like, brainwash them? You know, Richard, that, that kind is, of way. Is that <laughs> ecological and ethical, <laughs> Can you motivate them, brainwash them? They're either one I mean, or the other, love you. Sorry. <laughs> okay, on my invitation this morning. Once again, we're talking to Kit, uh, NLP Master Trainer and also Country Director of Billy Quick International. If you do have a question for Kit this morning, give us a call 039543 I'm sure she'll be very happy to answer it for you. Or you can put it up on Facebook, your question, fb.lightfm.com.my. Meanwhile, here are the Carpenters on The Light Breakfast. Thursday morning on by invitation, we have the pleasure of speaking to Kit, NLP Master Trainer, also Country Director of Billy Quick International. A question from uh, Fendi. I just want to ask a question. See, I'm working in this company. My boss is giving a lot of work and overload work to all the staff. So it's very poor in motivation. Uh, when all the senior staff, at the end of the day, they become stressful and uh, working very unhappy by environment. So how do I motivate my boss to, in order for him to motivate his staff, we grow together. But it seems that his business is growing, his, in his income is growing, but all the employees feel that our pocket is not growing. The only thing growing is our workload. <laughs> he says our pockets are not growing. All right, kid, what do you have to say about that? That's a wonderful question. <laughs> okay, what, what it would appear is that, you know, the staff are seeing the boss doing well financially, yes. the company is doing well financially, and yet they're not feeling the reward. So yeah. my question to the staff would be, are you all motivated by money? Depends on how big the group is. Right. We need to find out first, what would motivate each and every member of staff? Right. Is it really just money or is it something else? Right. And then they have to then pass that message to the boss because the boss cannot assume that everybody just loves working with him. Right. You know, some bosses do love. We yes. know that in real life, right? Some bosses <laughs> I, say, I can't my think staff loves me. You can't. Who, uh, who, who, who think that the staff loves working. Sometimes. No, they love <laughs> working him or her. Love yeah, him. Yeah. They love oh, him right. enough to that yeah. they will okay. just give their life, you know, okay. yeah. all their time all for All their hours. and. You so know. they need themselves to understand what would then make them motivated right. is it really just money because from the sounds of that question yeah. it was it sounds like money because they're right. saying yeah, they yeah. see the boss grow and they he's yeah. got the money right so okay there, there may be some people like feeling a bit bitter because how come we're not getting we're the putting financial in all reward? this yeah. hard work and yeah everything. but i think there's a lot more to it it could be some of them are saying okay instead of the long hours yeah. can we have a bit more time off right yeah. 
maybe they want to be recognized by the bosses occasionally oh. and not just yeah, monetarily yeah, yeah. but just by telling them a hey, great the job boss but how, about them, yeah actually. but how would you go up to your boss and say these things i mean how it's kind of weird isn't it to just say hey boss come on give us some gr- give us some credit every now and then right mm-hmm. you know we're doing all the work well talk to the hr people HR if you've got H- someone in HR, the HR person should be the person responsible right. for ensuring that the staff yeah. are happy. Right. That HR person should do the study of what is mo- m- going to motivate the staff. Okay. And then that pre- prepare a report. Mm-hmm. Give it to the boss and say, look, I've spoken to the staff and this is mm-hmm. what we find are the shortcomings of the company, not the boss. You cannot go up to the boss and say, hey, boss, I don't think you're doing very well. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. You know, but if you say these are the shortcomings in the company, I think we should do more of this. Okay. For the, and see what the, boss, for the whole yeah. team. And doing this would motivate Effendi more, perhaps, just to have all his grievances aired and everything like that? I think he just wants to be heard. Right. I think he wants to be recognized, right. his efforts to be recognized. Yeah. yeah. And, and of course, extra well. money would be nice. Right. Okay. Mm. Well, all those three, who wouldn't want those, right, yeah. Kit? <laughs> okay. Okay. On by invitation. Talking to Kit here, NLP master trainer and also country director of Billy Quick International. If you have any questions uh, with regards to motivating people, feel free to... Give us a call, 03-9543-3333. And once again, any questions on Facebook is also very welcome. fb.lightfm.com.my on the light break.